Being naughty. Understanding playful misbehavior in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a commonly used English phrase, being naughty. If you've heard this phrase and wondered about its meaning and usage, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Being naughty refers to behavior that is slightly bad but is generally not intended to cause serious harm or damage. It's often used when talking about children or pets who are misbehaving in a playful or mischievous way. Naughtiness implies a lack of serious misconduct, and it's often seen as something that can be playful or endearing in the right context. To better understand the term, let's look at some examples. A child hiding their vegetables under the plate instead of eating them is being naughty. A puppy that steals socks from the laundry basket is also being naughty. In these scenarios, the behavior is not intended to cause real trouble but is more about playful mischief or testing boundaries. It's important to note that naughtiness has a light-hearted connotation. While it may require correction, it doesn't carry the same weight as more serious terms like misbehaving or disobedience. Being naughty suggests a cheeky or roguish kind of behavior that often brings a smile or an exasperated shake of the head rather than anger. When someone is being naughty, it's usually addressed with a mild form of discipline. This could be a gentle reminder of the rules, a light-hearted warning, or a playful nudge towards the right behavior. It's about guiding without harshness, as the intent behind naughty actions is rarely malevolent. The perception of what constitutes naughtiness can vary significantly across different cultures. What one culture views as naughty, another might see as acceptable behavior. It's fascinating to see how the interpretation of this behavior shifts in different societal contexts. We hope this exploration of the phrase, being naughty, has been enlightening and fun. Remember, naughtiness is all about context and intent, and while it's often playful, it's always good to understand the boundaries. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay curious and keep learning!